So I heard you jumped teams this year. I did jump teams this year. Leave me the fuck alone. Do you want to relax? Do you want results? Where's Cody at? Right, every team has this person. We have never had this person. It's a little intimidating. Yeah? Yeah. That's what they get, carbs. Cook like all this eggs and bacon and sugar and carbs. This is practice number what for you guys now? One. Well, day two of practice number one. Okay. So Saturday and Sunday, two-day practice. Um, how many new players do you guys have this year? Um, three brand new players to grid. Okay. Um, one new player from the Lions. Okay. Um, I got a new assistant coach this year. Um, my head coach um, is still kind of up in the air, um, Cody, Coach Cody. Um, so I did, because of last year and Cody missing two of the matches, it made it really hard on me because I am at, at the, that point when Cody's gone, I am the only person. So I'm playing, managing everyone else that has questions with their assignments. So being on the grid, being that person to try to like, because there are so many rules. And that makes it really hard on me when I'm also trying to play and focus. So um, I did find a new assistant coach this year. I think she's gonna be amazing. Um, she used to own a CrossFit gym, so she's big in the CrossFit community already. My biggest goal for this season is to make the team. So season number one, the As One tournament and season number one were like the camaraderie of the team. Like there was, everybody was like best friends that year. Like there was not a single like outcaster, if you will. <laughs> everybody was so close. So my goal this season, first like primary goal is to make that happen again. Um, it just makes it easier for the communication and everything. So that is primary goal. Second goal is to get past playoffs. It's year after year since I've owned this team, we get to playoffs and we shit the bed in playoffs. So that is second goal, um, get to championships. Whatever happens at championships, I'm fine with. Just get to championships is second goal. Awesome. Yeah. And crush that. <laughs> Do you want to relax? Do you want results? Bam. <laughs> That's how it's just. <laughs> Where's Cody at? Cody decided not to play this season. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. My uh, Florida brother this year. He doesn't want to compete at all this year. So okay. He wants to take a break from competing, get his life straight. I was like, I get it. He turned 30, had a, I turned 30 life crisis. Because <laughs> you're not midlife, you yeah. know? Like, How you feeling for today? Pretty good. A little sore from yesterday. Some of the races we did, partner forward and whatnot, but feeling good for this ladder. Nice. <laughs> So I heard you jumped teams this year. I did jump teams this year. <laughs> I did. This is my second day of practice with the Palms. Okay. Uh, How's it going? Really well. I'm really happy. This is my home gym, so it's nice to be home. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I'm really interested just to meet everyone and like kind of get the, a new team dynamic. I mean, I want to win, <laughs> sure. obviously. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm most excited to just change it up a little bit and uh, make new friends. What team was it that you came from? I was from? on the Lions. The Lions? Lions. So how is it going to be <laughs> facing is, the Lions? It's all good. We're not mad at each other. <laughs> at least not that I know of. <laughs> yeah, right? An hour or so in. And I think I've seen you wear already like four hats. Started warming up. You're doing some social media stuff. Yep. <laughs> We're on, schedule. we're on schedule. I've set a timer because I want hangout time to be happening at like noon. So like the ladder is supposed to start at 10. We're 10 or 6. It's fine. Let's call that on schedule. <laughs>
Please don't let me climb the rope. Breathe let's, and climb I'm the very rope. slow at rope climbing. Okay, so then what? let's have. I don't like being that high. Three, <laughs> okay, two. So I really want to Obviously knows what she's doing. Just follow her lead, though, you know. Yeah. I'm really here for support. I want to support them as much as possible and support Briley as much as possible, you know. Yeah. She's been doing it such a long time, and she's such an inspiration. So I'm just thankful to be here and be helping out. So like any question, like obviously come to me with all of any questions you have, but come match day, she will have everybody's assignments done. Yeah. Like she will know them too. So that way, like as I'm warming up, like so I can actually warm up so it doesn't come down to like yesterday when like, I couldn't do anything because I wasn't warmed up type of thing. Um, she will be a go to. First and foremost, if she doesn't have an answer, come to me, but try to go to her on match days first, okay? Um, with that being said, I didn't really get to like finish the spiel because it was loud yesterday. We can finish it over there or whatever, but. I do want to help you guys as much as possible, and like, I want you guys to come to me with things because obviously she's trying to be an athlete. Yes, the coach, but athlete, but I want to be like the person you guys can like bounce things off of, so she's not just overwhelmed with everything. And we got to take care of each other too, like, check in on each other. Yeah, we have the WhatsApp and we all live in different places, but that's why we have the WhatsApp, so that we can check in on each other. Like, closer to game day, if something's going on in your life, like, major, then I'd like to know about it so that we know where your headspace is at. Because if you're in a shitty headspace and we don't know that day, then we don't know how to like bring you back up. Like if you need a hype man, I'll be your hype man. You know, I'm going to be that anyways, but I want to make sure that everybody's headspace on match day is like where it needs to be and dialed in and zoned in. Like, you know, something happens, check in on each other. Hey, I got you. Speaking from experience, this woman right here is like the reason I did so well in semifinal. She was here fucking day. Hype me up when I just got off the plane, so she will be like your biggest <laughs> cheerleader. Sorry, Bray. But <laughs> <laughs> I have pom poms yeah. in my car. I'm <laughs> not very pom poms. That's a good thing. Wow. They're fine, Dan. Blue pom poms. Yeah. They're straight pink blue pom poms yeah. for you. Yeah. They're the blue, not <laughs> pink. I have them. Yeah. I got a lot of pom poms. You have a skirt too? I do. No. Many of them. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, yeah. for, for real, that is, that is the piece that I am missing. 
right? Every team has this person. We have never had this person that is dedicated to this. Cody tried, but obviously life, baby, far away, he's in Tampa, right? So like, I've never had this. So like, this is someone I am gonna lean on heavily this season. So I want you guys too, and like she said, like the headspace, like, yeah. okay, I'll be honest, Cody didn't really give me the best reasonings to quitting. He's like, oh, I haven't even told Heather. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm Briley. <laughs> Why is Heather being brought into this? But like, I'm like here as a friend, right? Like I want to know you guys, like, like she said, like the headspace, like the more we know about what's going on, the more we're gonna be able to help, the more like if you're like and honest with yourself, like I'm not feeling well, like maybe I should be, and that's part of being a teammate. If your headspace isn't right, you're not gonna go out and perform. Be honest with us so that way we can put someone else in, right? That's what being on the team is for. We can jump in and like make up for it whenever you guys are, like whenever it is needed, right? Do so that also on. though, it's like, if we're bringing somebody else in, it's not because we don't trust your abilities. You're obviously all very good athletes, or you wouldn't be here. And like she says sometimes, like in years past, people would get taken out and they get an attitude about it, or like an ego. It doesn't seem like this is an issue on this team, at least from what I've seen. I don't really know you guys like that, but you guys are really happy, go lucky, and like you laugh at yourselves, which is a really good thing, which is super positive. Like, you make a mistake, so what? Let's move on from it, instead of dwelling on it, and then making the rest of it shitty. Because if you get stuck in that moment, then it just takes over, and it's like a disease, right. and it'll just breathe. But going back, I digress. If you get taken out, it's not its not an ego thing. It's not like, oh, you suck. We're taking you out. It's like maybe there's just another strategy. Like yesterday, Sam was like, we have a plan. We have a plan. Like, we're going to trust you guys just as much as you're going to trust us, right? Sam, if you have a plan, then just let us know. Like, hey, maybe this will work better because maybe we haven't seen that. Or like she hasn't thought about it. I haven't thought about it. Like, maybe your plan does work better. Or, you know, just, let's just be vocal. Yeah. I don't want to guess. Same in the reverse, though. Mm -hmm. Like, putting you in, like we, like I said yesterday, like winning a match is hype, but like we need to neutralize too, because just because we won that race, we need to come back down race to race too, right? So like we need to be brought up almost every race, we need to be brought down every race, so that way we're focusing on the present race in that moment, right? Just because we won that race, like we're in this race now, right? We run race, we won, we won mirror, okay, fuck it, we're in, who cares? Let's let it go. We're in. Let's stop from here. Ringer. We're in a ringer now. Let's hype that person up, whoever that is. But so, like, let's go from race to race. Let's be more present and not focus on the next races or the previous races. That's what I mean by mental mental headspace this this season. Is let's go literally clear everything out from race to race. I'm not going to live in the, the ones we just won and lost, and we're not going to win on the ones that are coming up. Like we're in this race right now. This is what we need to focus on. I'm,